So I've had some commenters say that they get confused when I start an episode by just talking. They feel like the YouTube player has started them like halfway through an episode. And they've requested that I start with a theme or some sort of intro each episode so that they can make sure that they're seeing everything. So here we go. So get ready to start the episode on my mark. Three, two, one, mark episode. Fighter pilots have a lot of hacks they use to get the mission done. Here are 12 that you might be able to use in real life. The first is train like you fight. So in the squadron, that means go through every sortie as if you were going to war. From the brief, pre-flight, takeoff procedures, mission conduct, debrief, dealing with maintenance, every aspect of the mission as if it was a war sortie. Train. In the corporate world, it seems obvious, but imagine how many processes you go through that have nothing to do with getting the job done and the efficiencies you could realize if you got rid of those. Train like you fight. Next one is keep your knots up. Speed is life. It gives you options. So in the real world, speed can be people, resources, revenue. Having X plus one isn't just a luxury, it's good business. Next hack is keep your scan going. If you're only focused on one thing, something else is about to jump up and bite you. While you're staring at the bandit in the heads up display, you're missing the fact that you're about to run out of gas or get shot by the other bandit who just rolled in behind you. Now in business, if you look at the monthly reports at a staff meeting and you're only focused on the revenue line, I guarantee you're missing something else that's contributing to that performance that needs your focus. Keep your scan going. Next one's lost sight, lost fight. So regardless of fifth generation technology or whatever, you can't kill what you don't see. The same applies to the real world. You cannot keep up with competition that you do not know exists which goes back to the previous hack, keep your scan going. The next hack is you can only tie the record for low flight. So don't fly into the ground. In the business world is you can only tie the record for time to bankruptcy. Next is don't turn back into a fight you've already survived. We talked about this during the How to Kill Bandits Before the Merge episode. Know when to bug out and then do it. Live to fight another day. In a business context, you have goals and you have stretch goals. I've seen it where a team hits their goals, leadership drives them to hit the stretch goal, and in the process, they demoralize the team to the point that they're useless after that. So again, don't turn back into a fight you've already survived. Next hack, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You also miss 100% of the shots you take out of the missile's operating envelope, which gets back to our first hack, train like you fight. Then is the classic, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Now, by cheating, I don't mean break the law. That's not the hack. Just, Just like, like in a fighter squadron context, cheating doesn't mean violating NATOPS. What it means is leveraging every advantage as your opponent shows a disadvantage. The execution of that has got to be timely and precise. Aviation is a game of milliseconds. Business is a game of small opportunities in some that give you market advantage. Next is aviate, navigate, and communicate. And what we're talking about there are your priorities, especially during an emergency. So in real life, know your priorities and keep them prioritized. Next is stay ahead of the airplane. So like a slalom skier going down a mountain, you don't want to be staring at the gate you're passing. You want to be focused on the next gate. Same with an airplane that's traveling at 450 knots. You don't want your focus to be just over the nose. You want it to be half a mile, a mile, 10 miles down range. You want to anticipate what's happening next. So in a business context, you don't want to be focused on the immediate outcome. You want to be focused on the strategic outcomes in order to keep the business ahead of the competition. Next hack is if you don't know who the world's greatest fighter pilot is, it's not you. So you can substitute any number of occupations for fighter pilot in that hack. Yoga instructor, dentist, 
first responder, teacher, if you don't know who the best is, then it's not you. I think the world would be a better place if everybody in every occupation tried to be the best. And the final fighter pilot hack that can be applied to real life is, there's nothing more dangerous than a nugget, a first tour pilot with 500 hours in the airplane. So the real life version of that hack is, he knows enough to be dangerous. You need to stick with the basics, use checklists, go through the procedures, because once we get comfortable, we know enough to be dangerous. And in some cases, the results can be catastrophic. So those are the 12 fighter pilot hacks that can be applied to real life. I hope they help you. All right, that'll do it for this episode. If you're a first time viewer, please ring the bell and become a subscriber so you don't miss anything. Give me the likes, appreciate those very much. And comment, and please help support the channel with the use of super thanks in the comment section. Appreciate that very much. And if you'd like to help us beyond that, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash wordcarol. And check the links below for official channel merch and also how to get my debut novel, Punk's War. Use the discount code PUNKYT, P-U-N-K-Y-T at checkout. It's a special subscriber discount that's being provided for channel subscribers exclusively. And in the meantime, I look forward to talking to you again soon.